Benny from my position. Lunchbox. Now we move on to stages in accounting for redemption of shares. Stage number one is provide finance for the redemption of nominal value, e.g. record new issue of shares or create capital redemption reserve. In other words, we are saying deal with the methods of redemption. Stage number two is cancel the shares being redeemed by crediting bank and debiting preference shares and premium on redemption if the shares are being redeemed at a premium. Stage number three, provide finance for premium on redemption. In other words, we are saying deal with the loss of premium on redemption. We have considered this loss in our previous videos. Now we move on to the common format to record redemption of shares using method number one. Those who haven't watched my videos, method number one is right here. Redemption plus new issue of shares. Method number two is redemption by utilizing internal resources. And method number three is redemption by a combination of the above two methods. I explained these things in the previous videos. So the journal entries, if method one is used, will be slightly different from the journal entries required when method two is used. This is simply a combination of the above two methods. So what we do first, we debit bank and we credit ordinary share capital and share premium. In this case, we are recording new issue of shares since method one involves new issue of shares. So in other words, we are on stage one where we are providing finance for redemption. So we are debiting bank because the bank account is receiving money and the capital account and the share premium account are giving money to the bank account. Then on stage number two, we want to cancel the shares being redeemed. In other words, we want to debit the shares being redeemed. And if there is premium on redemption, we also debit it like this. So we debit the percentage preference shares that we are redeeming. Their nominal value is debited right here. And the premium on redemption, if we are redeeming the shares at a premium, we record on the debit side right here. Then we credit the bank account. Then, if on stage two we have premium on redemption, it means that stage three is necessary because we need to provide finance for this premium on redemption. So it was debited here. So we are going to credit the same amount of premium on redemption such that this premium on redemption and this premium on redemption will cancel out. Right? Then on the debit side, we want an amount which is equal to this amount of premium on redemption on the credit side. So the amount might come from share premium or retained income, depending on whether these laws are satisfied. If we use method number two, this is the format for our journal entries. We debit reserve, the reserve that we are using to finance the redemption, and we credit capital redemption reserve. In other words, at this stage, we are providing finance for the redemption. So we are dealing with the methods of redemption. Whenever we use internal resources, that is method number two, we create the capital redemption reserve by crediting it and debiting the reserve that we are using to finance that redemption. Then on stage number two, we want to cancel the shares that we are redeeming. So we debit them and we also debit the premium redemption and we credit bank. Then after that, we provide finance for premium redemption. But take note of this. As long as we use internal resources on stage number one, automatically we are going to use retained income or end of the revenue reserves here, maybe the general reserve, to finance our premium on redemption. We are not going to use the share premium if, if method two only was used just because of this law. Premium on redemption can be charged to the share premium account if the shares being redeemed at a premium are financed fully or partially through issue of new shares. 
which means if we use internal resources only, we are not going to use the share premium account to finance our premium redemption here. No, tapene. Premium redemption account is not the same as the share premium account. Premium redemption is striked through because it is a temporary account and is not included in the financial statements. In the next video, we are going to consider an example. Come on.